What's up, people? Welcome to Screen Printing Real, Real Talk. Talk. Let's get into it. I'm Ramon Jamal. I'm sitting here with Rick Province, the owner of Ohio Ink Supply. And today, today, we're going to talk about what? Spot removal. Spot removal. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Because nobody's perfect. We're all going to no. make mistakes. It sucks when you're printing something, the infamous squeegee fall. You go to pick it up. It's on your thumb. You're getting it on the shirts. Yeah. Bad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We got a solution, though. There we go. Boom. Right, right, right. Let's Check out the spot guns. Mm -hmm. You ever heard of these? I believe I've seen them before. OK, fair enough. Pretty we, cool, actually. We have these spot guns available. And they're, they're pretty uh, well known around the industry, but we have a, a spot gun. You, you basically unscrew the bottom port, portion of it. You dump in the spot gun solution, which basically is, is like a solution that gets sprayed out of this nozzle. A mm -hmm. spot gun, all it is is a high pressure, like pressure washer, but it shoots a little beam of that solution at the garment. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you stretch it over or put like an, an old garment in the the uh, inside of the garment itself that you got your smudge smear little pinhole on you put an old uh, shirt or a uh, even a spot removal station we'll mm -hmm. talk about that in a bit okay um and you press the button it shoots that stream of the solution sprays it through and, and removes the plastisol pretty cool man cured plastisol remover that's awesome and me just thinking about it bro like the whatever the chemical is yeah. It's, it's, it's just going to remove the ink spot. It, it will not like remove the actual color of your shirt. Correct. Or anything. Correct. Like that. You want to test it. We have actually mm -hmm. seen some uh, high polyester garments. Okay. That use some weird dyes. Okay. Where it's like camo or some real high, high stuff like that, like high coloration. Uh, nothing that's standard, it won't shoot the dye out. Okay. But we've seen a couple instances where you'd shoot it and it would spray a little bit out. So right. you want to test it before using, but in most cases, it's going to be pumped, yeah. completely fine. And, and that's better than like tossing a shirt, like oh, trashing a dude. shirt. Just You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah let's just can. say you get a high-end garment, Under Armour, Nike, something like that. You get a 12 to 24 piece run. You realize that you made a boo-boo and you touched five of them, you know, <laughs> and yeah, that's expensive. Five. I know, right? <laughs> so now you can just remove that spot instead of having to order replacements. Right. And you're back in business. Yeah, I, I would rather try that first. <laughs> um, we also have this, uh, we just came out with this um, spot gun guard. Okay. And it's much like the uh, old, like, if you remember, like an engineering school or like a drafting school. I don't know how, how many of you have gone through that. Yeah. There's like a racer guard. Right. Where you, you know, you get real close to the area that you want to keep. You cover that up with whatever shape you deem necessary. And then you can erase that one part out. Well, this is basically the same thing, but it's thicker metal. It doesn't uh, interact with the chemical that's used. Mm -hmm. You can block out real close. So if you wanted to keep a specific part of the garment intact, you can get real close and spray it out. Okay. And it's pretty cool. That's cool. Um, also, I mentioned the spot remover station. Um, there's kits that are available online mm -hmm. that come with a rip, a rip cord where you can pull it down from the top, shoot it, let go, and it zips back up. Okay. And the station has a stand. It comes with uh, four gallons of spot remover um, solution. Mm -hmm. But the station itself has a switch and it sucks all the fumes out. It, it is, it's smelly stuff. Okay. But it works really, really well. Okay. Um, but you flip the switch, this little fan kicks on, it sucks all the fumes out. It also keeps the garment there, gives you something to set it on while you're shooting it out. Pretty that, sweet. That's high tech right there. Right. <laughs> you can get it with the stand, the full kit that comes mm -hmm. with the four gallons, or you can get them individually as just the station itself. Um, and then I will say too, a lot of people don't use this because you know they want to sell you, they want to get the next gun. If they can sell you a $150 spot gun, right? we'd rather do that than replace a little dinky nozzle on the end or okay. tip. But we also do carry the tips. Um, it's super common. Those tips, man, you just set it on the table or wherever. If you don't have that zip strip to keep it up, it falls off, it breaks off. Okay. And you could be out of 150, 200 bucks, depending on where you get it. We have those tips uh, in stock, so okay. you can replace them there. That's cool, man. So cool. yeah, I was thinking like, 
like it like it getting clogged up but that's not the case you're saying if somebody actually drops it that's how they break yeah it's it's like a it's almost like water it's that thin the solution okay. so it's not going to clog up or dry right it, it evaporates really quickly so even if you you want to seal the solution up really good by the way because mm -hmm. if you leave that out you'll wake up the next day and there won't be any left okay but nevertheless if you get some somewhere or in the nozzle it's not going to dry and clog anything it'll evaporate before it has a chance to do that okay okay but uh some people also use acetone this is a pretty known solution that's low cost that you can put in there it's not recommended for that uh, is it, hold on, I'm sorry bro, like isn't that fingernail polish remover? Yeah, yeah, so okay. it's the same solution, or it's, it's the same solution as fingernail polish remover, but you can get it at like any drugstore, right. and I guess you pour it in there, the spot gun remover. Some people swear by it, I'd much rather use something that's industry specific, Right. I don't have to worry about inter, inter, any interactivity, right. but um, yeah, that's, some people use that, so it's a good low-cost option for a, a filler, too. Uh, okay. Cool thing, one other thing. <laughs> I want to go back to the gun real quick. Okay. <clears throat> when you spray the spot gun, ours um, is made by uh, CCI, and we have them private label our, our uh, guns. But you have a button here on the left mm -hmm. where you press, and we'll pop a picture up here. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and there's a button here where you press, and it shoots air to assist with the removal of the dried plastisol. Okay. So it's a super nice gun. It's not just like the eBay cheapo, you know, Chinese model that is just that. Right. Um, man, experience, trust and believe, uh, I've went through tons of those. The cheap the eBay's? Yeah, tons. <laughs> so you get a good quality gun, we have them for you, ohioinksupply.com. That's it, man. So listen, nobody's perfect. Mistakes are gonna happen. Yep. Great solution, better than tossing out shirts or having to replace Absolutely. shirts. Um, and me personally, if I was doing it, I wouldn't trust the acetone. Nah. Because it's like, it's I, not specifically formulated for that. I wouldn't and, do it either, but yeah. it, it, it is an option that some people have Man. said out there, but I would, yeah. I, it, personally speaking, I at least wanted to mention it, I'd probably stay away from it. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, Use something that's, that's intended for that use. You get what you pay for. You could remove nail polish with that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Start a business. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So I guess that's it. That's it, For man. this episode, Spot Removal. Guys, if you have any questions, please feel free. Leave comments below. Please do. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that notification bell. Hit the bell down here. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Until next time. Peace. Peace.